Okay, music fans, welcome back to The Real Music Observer. It's Dave um, doing what I do, observing real music in real time for real people just like you right there and me here. Uh, Jonathan Kane <laughs> is going on tour. I got it here. Uh, announced concert date. It looks like it's going to be November 30th. Uh, this is the first one. Someone sent this to me, so this is kind of interesting news. Uh, tickets are actually on sale for this event. It's uh, Arcada Theater. I want to say Arcadia, but it's A-R-C-A-D-A -A -A Theater, and that's in Illinois. Uh, I'm assuming that he's going to be touring. It says, Jonathan Kane will tour uh, Christmas 2017 in support of his second solo Chris Christmas album, Unsung Noel. Kane will be playing uh, various songs from his solo material, classic Christmas songs, along with a medley <clears throat> of some of his monster hits with the band Journey. Now, if you haven't checked Jonathan Kane out vocally, you probably need to. Um, I'm going to say this about his voice. It's good. <laughs> his voice is good. Uh, it's, it takes a little getting used to because I've never heard him sing just him before. Uh, he's never been given the opportunity to sing lead in Journey. And it's funny, um, I think, and someone will correct me because that's what you guys do, uh, on Generations, uh, I want to say Ross Valerie sung a tune. And that was kind of an eye-opening experience uh, where they were really experimenting uh, it, th that album had a completely different sound to it most of it and it was a guitar driven album as well so uh, Kane didn't do as much I believe on that album as uh, some of the more popular albums that Journey obviously created but I think this is an interesting development it also opens up the possibility that Arnell might show up to do some singing uh, the reason I say this is because uh, Arnell is planning to come back to the States and uh, he's got some stuff he's doing. He hasn't uh, finalized it. Uh, I'm thinking he's going on tour with someone somewhere. Uh, if I were him, if I were you know his manager or his agent or whatever it is, uh, the Kenny G thing to me was awesome. Watching him do the Michael Bolton tunes and so forth. Uh, I think Arnell can be a great vocalist in the right circumstances when uh, he's not made to shred his voice night after night. And, you know, if Jonathan Cain is going to perform uh, the Journey songs, you know, without a tenor, if he's going to actually sing the songs, that, that'll be kind of interesting to hear his interpretation of these songs. Uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to it, actually. So uh, I thought this was kind of breaking news it also shows that uh, these guys are moving on uh, Neil has got his stuff and actually Neil announced publicly a while back on Twitter of the things he was looking to do so Kane different he waited until the tour was over and then announced uh, things that he wanted to do so very interesting you know this is uh, after the uh, airport uh, what do they call that ambush that I posted about yesterday? I think Jonathan Kane. I, I, I mean, I watched him unveil this new Christian song, uh, and he, he did it with just such humility and just, uh, look, I'm not trying to take sides in this, but I'm watching, and if you watch the videos, you're going to see that I've taken sides, but um, since my uh, apology video, I've tried to be more objective and see the other side but you're gonna see today I've got a couple other videos that I'm gonna do and the stuff going on with Arnell I, I cannot be all that objective with and I'll explain why in that video but uh, Kane is out he's out gonna be out on the road he's he's a great performer he's a great keyboard player uh, he has a heart for Christian music and for Christmas stuff and for him to be out on the road performing that might give Journey fans a little bit of solace, a little bit of just, okay, you know, they're not all going away, and I can get my dose of 
Jonathan Kane. And again, Arcada Theater, or, or I don't think it's Arcada. And someone will correct me, okay? I'm not from Chicagoland area, so I don't, I don't know. But the concert is November 30th, and tickets went on sale on August 10th. So uh, go get your tickets to go see Jonathan Kane up in the Chicagoland area, and then I'm sure other concert dates will be announced. More videos coming. I'm Dave, and of course, this is the Real Music Observer, and uh, we'll be back observing real music real soon. Talk to you then.